Hey everybody, Phil back again. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been gone for a week or two here. A couple weeks I was splitting a lot of wood. I got a, not a stack of wood in my yard, I got a mountain of wood in my yard. It is freaking huge. I burn wood primarily for heat. I mean, almost all my heat. And i uh, been really busy with that the last couple weeks. Finally got caught up with it and trying to knock out some more videos here. I wanted to take a look at these two guys. They're four eight thousands. One is one sixteenth, and one is one twelfth. One sixteenth one I got off uh, Chucky's Precision Parts and Pullers site. They do have tractors on there. There's a section for tractors, and th that was one of them. Um, and this uh, Ford eight thousand to twelve scale I just recently got uh, from Hillbilly Hollers Farm Toys on Facebook. I want to thank Daryl Joe Joe Riley for that. He had an auction a couple weeks ago, and I won it. Um, classic, classic old looking tractors here. The actual real tractor produced by the Ford Motor Company between 1968 to, through 1972, I want to say. I think it was 105 uh, PTO horsepower, fairly powerful uh, tractor I, I, for that time. I, I, well, I wondered if this is the first 100 horsepower tractor produced by Ford. I'm guessing it probably was. Pretty, pretty sharp tractors by the Ford Motor Company. Really, really classic looking design too. We'll look at that at tall scale first. Let me get this one out of the way real quick. As you can see, it's, you know, a lot bigger, quite a, a little bit bigger than the 16th. You got, you do have a three point here and center link moves. I think these might move, it looks like, but I don't think so. I think they're riveted in, so I'm not going to try. You got your classic old draw bar there. Nice uh, white forward red against that white on that decal on the back i'm guessing this might be the fuel tank maybe if anybody knows let me know driver station very 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 plain jane of course it's blue sea blue steering wheel the imitation foot pedals down in there classic looking rounded fenders for the 8000 series fords and now uh, you got some decal uh, lighting in those fenders your hood there Here's an, here's an intake and a rubber muffler there, gray muff, silver muffler and a blue intake. Long decaling here, white with blue stripes and a red Ford 8000 over the engine compartment area. Engine detailing, I mean for its age, I mean this is probably from the late 60s, early 70s I'm guessing. Not too bad, I mean, Ertl always did a good decent casting job on this one back rear fender you notice some paint chipping but for the age of this tractor the paint's in pretty good shape other than this right here um I'll, i can live with that shows its age um I, i've got some board gray paint maybe someday i'll touch it up classic 8000 series grill silver screening with the red ford at the top against that black screening here's underneath the tractor your tires, of course, rubber all the way around. They look uh, to be original to me. They're, they look uh, pretty, uh, pretty classic looking. Your wheel on the rear, classic Ford to look Ford tire. And then your front wheel, the big old fat classic three whips that I always put on the Ford track replicas in 12 scale. Front tire, front wheel there. Looks good. Now we'll take a quick look at the 12 scale or the 8 16 scale. So like I said, I got this from Chucky's and I wondered who made it and it says right there scale model, Styersville, Iowa. Because the box was I think pretty plain. It does have this three point here on the back. It's pretty similar in detailing as far as that 12 scale. Not a whole lot going on. There's your curb fenders look nice steering wheel seat lights in the fenders are decaled like just like the 12 scale here's your hood breather intake muffler of course this one is decaled differently than the other i don't know maybe they were decaled differently at, through the years that they were produced i don't know this has a big gigantic ford in the middle over the engine area with the white striping and then up here by near the grill it says ford 8000 so somebody knows, let me know, but they are definitely decaled differently. Your engine compartment detailing of the components, it isn't terrible.
front grill. Classic looking front grill there as well on this one too. Decaled underneath the tractor. Your tires all the way around are rubber nice classic looking ergo slash scale models rear tires there the rear wheel is metal for gray looks good the front wheel is a classic looking three rib they've used many many times in your front wheel i think the front wheel is plastic but the rear wheel does appear to be metal pretty classic classic tractors all right, I'll move on to some quick final thoughts and let's uh, do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. Ertl 112 scale Ford 8000 and scale models 116 scale Ford 8000. Like I said, if anybody knows about this decaling, because they are different, let me know. Um, did they do, do a switch in the middle of the production of these tractors? Because I remember this. I don't really remember that as much. Now that I'm doing this video and looking at them, it's reminding me of the Ford 8000s I seen. And when I was younger in my youth, I seen this. I don't recall that. Anybody knows, let me know. But uh, also this big 812 scale, my brothers have one. I was very young, but they have one of these. And they played with it a lot when I was younger. I mean, I'm talking, I was like five probably. I do remember them having a 12 scale Ford 8000. They are both pretty classic looking little replicas here. All right, everybody. I want to thank everybody that always supports my channel. Comment below if you like. This is Phil. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.